Shiza for brains. <clears throat> you read the title. You clicked on the malt liquor video. And if you're not drinking malt liquor right now, press fucking pause and go get yourself some motherfucking malt liquor. Come back, press fucking play, and sit your ass down and watch the motherfucking malt liquor video in its entirety all the way to the fucking end. That should be part of the fucking blueprint. Good, good. Uh, second attempt. Take two. Take it from the top. <sighs> I didn't get too far in my last attempt of a malt liquor video. Didn't say much yet. So, still live fucking TV. Unfucking scripted. What I did was showed you guys I got a bag from McDowell's. Reached inside, grabbed this thing, folded it, but I didn't fucking fold it good enough. I was like, "Hey, it's all to go see to prove it," and uh, it has my name underneath that too. I'm not Tom Alien. I'm not telling everybody my fucking name on the internet. What we have here is a large fry. Large fries for a buck. With the McDowell's app. Ooh, shit. Now I can show you guys this. Bam. Extra. So. The point of this malt liquor video is not only for me to get fucking completely fucking shitty. But to pay tribute and homage to one of the headless horsemen. The 40 ounce fear. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. When I said the 40 ounce fear. It made me think of Dusty G <laughs> and how he was going fucking buck wild in one of his stupid fucking malt liquor videos. I don't even know if he was drinking malt liquor, but he was talking shit and kept on repeating the name of that author who wrote the fucking story, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. And I was like, dude, if you fucking say that fucking name one more fucking time, I'm going to fucking have a heart attack. Fucking idiot. Fucking hate that guy. Did not receive a stack of napkins, folks. Now, I'm not a fucking copycat or none of that boo shit. This qualifies as a fucking napkin, face wipe, ass wipe, any of that wipe. So, keep that fucking bag. Keep it in handy, close range. <laughs> Cause you're gonna fucking need it. Now, I did watch 40 Ounce Fears <clears throat> Malt Liquor Dungeon Tour Malt Liquor Cribs where he showcased all the stuff that people gave him. I gave them a shout out. It made me think, I wonder what I could fucking send that guy. We got some craft beer boo shit. And I've seen a few empty fucking spaces on his goddamn wall. But 
kind of some shit that I wanted to keep for my fucking self. Put in my own fucking fortress of multitude. Whoa. And I'm wearing fucking sunshades and I could see the source and the fucking slivers. Man. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. Now for the fucking guy that says this is a sesame seed bun, he can go fuck himself. This is a Kaiser bun. Shout out to 40 ounce Kaiser. Believe it or not, folks. This is fucking Mac Rib number 17. In the books. Come on. 17 times fucking four is way the fuck too much to be spending on fucking Mac ribs. I can only imagine what that fucking rich guy who's had over 50 of these only imagine his Mac rib budget. <laughs> God. His financial advisor would freeze his fucking account if he knew how many times he's been going to Mac Dowels and buying all these fucking Mac ribs. But it only happens once a year, folks. And I thought of asking that young patriot on the front lines, ducking and dodging a hail of, a, of assorted COVID-19 strains. Asking, hey, how long is this fucking sandwich going to be available? But I kind of thought, you know what? Let it fucking ride. You'll find out. <laughs> Me as if to say, hurry boy, it's waiting <sighs> Now, this morning, I woke up, pissed and shit excellence, and what was it, fucking six something in the morning my time? I see this fucking guy has a whole bunch of goddamn people wishing him a happy birthday, and I had to jump in and fucking do the same. And it was an honest felt fucking motion, folks. I truly hoped that Tom Alien would have a happy fucking birthday today. Whether he did or did not, it's not for me to decide. But, cheers to you, brother. Happy motherfucking birthday. <clears throat> now, he's a grown up. <clears throat> 50, 40s before <clears throat> 40 ounce fear turns 50. I'm not doing it. I don't have no fucking part of that boo shit. What I can do is drink 50 Mickeys before, I don't know, the end of 2020. <laughs> God, that's fucking insanity. Went over to Hot Beeves. Beer delivery are on Tuesday. I fucking seen through the cooler into the back cooler stacks and stacks of malt liquor and whatnot. So I went back there, cracked open one fucking case. It said March on a motherfucking date. Good God. These are April. And let me just remind you guys that a lot of times I get fucked up and I'm wearing sunshades. 
my 40 ounce from a couple of video last video i said it was april 6 clearly april fucking 5th <laughs> god april fools assholes go fuck yourselves <laughs> Now, uh, Tom Alien, uh, he probably didn't enjoy as many Mac ribs this season as I did, but he made a video, he ate it, he did his fucking part, Mac rib season. Only comes once a year, folks. The most wonderful fucking time of the year. I've always been somewhat a fan. Haven't always lived near a McDonald's. And I've already told you a-holes many malt liquor videos ago. The last time I had these, it wasn't a fucking pretty story. It was a long fucking time ago. <laughs> well, I was at work today. I watched some malt liquor videos, and I watched a fucking crazy stallion video by that fucking pear-shaped individual from Florida. That asshole. You know what? What a real piece of shit. My birthday gift to fear, you know, today, maybe I'll send him a box of some shit. Still got your address, Tom Alien. Fucking piece of shit. But. Fucking Pear Glenn. Using a dead man's name to score views on the internet. Same way he did with that person that he was involved with who passed away or whatever. I think she just left his ass because who the fuck would stick around with that piece of shit? Surprise those fucking cats haven't fucking ran off on your ass. Motherfucker, go fuck yourself. But Mickey's malt liquor. Emerald bottle. Shout out to Steel Worldwide. <sighs> and, uh, damn, we just cracked past the golden mug. Now that, that's a good fucking sign. A fucking paraglim. Using a dead man's name in the title of his video. What a fucking piece of shit. How many fucking people who want to listen to the is are going to have to watch a fucking few seconds of Pear Glenn sitting there being boring as fuck. Wearing a fucking ski mask. Listening to what was, until he ruined it, a beautiful song. Fuck yourself, Pear Glenn, you fucking... I don't have a title for the moves that you fucking make. You're just... Pairing up life. You're a fucking... Did fruit the life, folks. Good job. Last week, Pear Glenn was a Native American Seminole. This week, he's a motherfucking Hawaiian national. What's he gonna be next, folks? What the fuck's he gonna be next? And I already figured it out because 
brush slow. Fucking Pear Glenn thinks he's on the cast of Seinfeld. Talking about fucking festivities. Get the fuck out of here. Who are you? George Costanza's father, who's actually Ben Stiller's father in real life, who is actually also rest in peace. God damn you. God damn you, Pear Glenn. I hope you do not have a Merry Christmas. With the way you've been acting, you don't deserve a Merry fucking Christmas, you fucking piece of fucking shit. <laughs> Rugski. Peregrine, if I catch you standing in front of some fucking stranger's house with their fucking Christmas lights and you're drinking malt liquor like you did last year, I will call the fucking police. I will fucking snitch you out. The bro code, the street code, has been fucking thrown out the window for you, asshole. Go fuck yourself. Fucking. You deserve a fucking time the fuck out. You need to tap out, but you need a fucking time out, you fucking piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. Well, the traditional dinner of Festivus is meatloaf, but I don't have an oven. And I have this lasagna. Motherfucker, look for the goddamn microwave fucking meatloaf, you fucking half step and no fucking priorities. Piece of fucking shit. Go fuck yourself, Pickling. <laughs> Shout out to Tom Alien, the fucking chairman of the hard liquor drinking community. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> God Good God. Long video, folks. Fuck you, Pear Glenn. Shout out to Chump Chump. I've seen Joe Skull just put up a fucking natty bow on the fucking snow slope. Didn't watch it yet, bud. I gotta make my own malt liquor videos. Asshole. Trying to suck up all the fucking malt liquor video time. Go fuck yourself. Shout out to Fear. Shout out to that curly-headed fuck Havana. Fuck yourselves, assholes. Who the fuck you think of watching right now, bro?